Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play Rat and Clank. Given that's the 10 year anniversary of the series, thought I might give it a try. Well, we play it at least. So we're gonna start ourselves a new game. I'm gonna be playing on the Ratchet and Clank collection uh, for the PS3. Uh, slightly better graphics, shows up better on the recordings, and uh, I don't know, I feel that it kind of plays a little bit better. So here's our uh, hero, Ratchet. Ratchet is a Lombax. For as much as you might care. Also a bit of a mechanic. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. And apparently he doesn't have one of those. Which sucks. And coming out soon will be our other hero. Who apparently is not one of those things. Nope, this is Clank. He's a bit of a runt. He's also being spied on. That is an improvise. We'll get used to them. Clank is also apparently a tremendous acrobat and an ace pilot. Not sure why we care that much. Have control over Ratchet. But I'm not really feeling those uh, camera controls. Let me fix that. Gonna turn subtitles on. And. Gonna flip those. That should be good. Let's see. Ah, uh, much better. Okay, so here's Ratchet. Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you advice during your interview. Let's start your tutorial mode. It's a free service provided by Gadgetron Corporation. As you can see, Ratchet's main weapon is his wrench. Uh, this actually does not change at all during the course of the uh, entire series, actually. You'll always get to be used that thing. So what we're collecting right now is bolts. Uh, bolts will be used later on uh, to purchase all manner of stuff. Weapons, upgrades, ammo, mods, amazing stuff. We're going to need as much as possible as we possibly can, so you're not going to see me miss it. But bolts can be farmed just like everything else. So if we uh, need some that we don't have later on, I'll get a wrap or something. Not only does Ratchet have his regular combo, all the time. He also has that overhead smash, which does a little bit more damage. Uh, the problem is the aiming is uh, a little bit hard sometimes, especially against, against some of the other Have a double jump. Uh, it's not very good. It's more like double paint. Gadgetron's Omniridge 8000 includes a new comment. So what that was talking about, Ratchet can throw his wrench like a boomerang. Uh, it's not a very good uh, weapon, or I mean a very good uh, move in the first place. You have to go into first person mode to do it, and only go straight out, it doesn't have a lot of range. But uh, every so often it will be rather useful. Myself, if I'm going to do range stuff, I like this. Like our bomb. Which is the first weapon of the game. We start out with it. Very useful. Has pretty high damage. 
Clank has something to say. Interesting. Yay! You're quite Senator handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving you the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? The writing in this game is just spectacular. Hello, citizens of... My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreg, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. Cut! And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Oh, turn it off, you idiot! I like him. Right. The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. Okay. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Oh, Deal. Yep, that's a good idea. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, that this is the great! Guy, so that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you could stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is V54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on! Wonderful name. Ratchet's so, uh, imaginative. So, you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> 
don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Did I mention I like this guy? And Ratchet can't drive worth beans. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, oh. Uh, Clank? Where are you? <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. So Clank will be Ratchet's backpack for pretty much the entirety of the game. Now on any given planet, you can go in a number of directions. Uh, you don't always go the same way every time you start up. We are going to start by going this way. On any given planet, uh, when you start, uh, when you go, there's going to be a number of missions. Probably. Uh, usually, every mission does something for you that's kind of important. Uh, might unlock a new mission, might unlock a new weapon, a lot of stuff. That would be one of the main mechanics of the game of spinning around bolts, ratchets, giant wrench. Hey, look, we got enemies. These enemies basically have bombs. Drop us the enemies there because we actually uh, able to shoot at them for quite some time. Now, like most 3D protagonists, Ratchet can swim. We already did that. He can also dive. But, as usual, you know, he only has so much breath, so we can't go forever. That'd be the breath of the sun. Now, I'm not coming back to this fun profit. I do have reasons to be back in this uh, area. The reason we're back here is for one of the collectibles. The Ratchet Clank series does have a number of collectibles that most of the games have. Uh, there are the uh, skill points that we'll talk about later when I'm actually going to achieve them. Uh, there's none in this area that I can actually achieve. There's also the golden books. Uh, these are collectibles that every planet has. They are very well hidden and they usually don't you wouldn't expect to go. Uh, some require you to go almost outside the bounds of the map. Uh, golden bolts are used on the second playthrough to unlock all the cool stuff, especially new weapons. This is one of them right here. as many of those as we can possibly get. I believe there are uh, something to the tune of 40 of those in the game. I'm not sure why that breath meter is still up. Let's be graphical. That's all that was back there. Now this is a Gadgetron vendor. This guy sells us weapons and ammo. Hi there, Fuzzball. And he's gonna sell us the Pyrocitor, which is otherwise known as a flame. Pretty awe-inspiring weapon. It is very good against small groups of enemies. Oops. When you fall in this area, the water just carries you all the way back. It's kind of a, a hint not to fall. Luckily, no damage. I still need money. Luckily, there's plenty of money to be had. Uh, 
money caches a lot. Okay, so this another move that Ratchet is able to pull off is the wall jump. By doing wall jump here. Yep, we have that animation every time we find one. As you might imagine, uh, those spinning uh, fans are virtual. And if you fall down there, you'll go all the way back to the beginning. So try not to do that. The uh, ammo crates you can every once in a while, they're kind of random about what they'll actually give you. Uh, it's not any just uh, straight up, you know, I'll give you whatever you have equipped right now. It just kills random ammo that you have to As much as it looks like those little, uh, elevator trim goes in there, they're not. They're kind of, uh, red herring. This one, on the other hand, does, but we got some more money over here. I basically always want any money, so if you see a lot of money, chances are I have something big to buy, too. 840, though? That's not what it is. Talk to this guy. And blast it! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this goddarn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Yep, and another mechanic of the game. Buying stuff that we need. To end by that in just a second. Gimme. And now let's see what's on here. Geronimo! Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? We'll be doing the same in just a second. Mayday, Mayday! This is the Solar Ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Right down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long! Kid, let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Direct hit to the ship, huh? Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. <laughs> I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Gadgetron and... So we'll be using Infobots to get us into the new levels. Without an Infobot, we can't go anywhere. So if you ever notice me with uh, nowhere else to go, chances are I've gone down an Infobot. And now we get to ride the sewer. We get a couple of bolts more from it. Well, that's nice and all. I got a place to go, but I don't have a ship to use to actually get there. So let's go in the only direction I haven't gone yet. Let's see if we can fix that problem. As I said, the, uh, Pyrocitor is mostly for small groups of enemies, but very small enemies. It does enough damage to kill them, and it actually does an AoE attack. Uh, kinda nice. But it's not really against big enemies. It doesn't do enough damage in one attack to actually kill them out. And 
and enemies that are uh, knocked on the ground are actually kind of damage. So for guys like this, big enemies, you gotta watch the bomb. Luckily, the bomb glove also does damage. Now there is another golden bolt in this level, it's actually up that stream you saw right next to me just now. The problem is, that stream's moving a little bit too fast for me to go up. Uh, I can't actually reach the, the uh, golden bolt. Yeah, I can't actually reach the golden bolt up there right now, I'll have to come back when I have a way to swim faster. based on the whole, we have a lot of fun and we have to uh, kill one of you. So they're not very smart, for the most part. Your prevent from making you zigzag a little, not going to be a hard deal. But there will be some enemies to chase. Oh. 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 nice thing about the game that if bolts or any items or ammo or anything falls down in a place that's inaccessible to you, uh, like bottomless pit of that nature, the game will automatically just give it to you, even if you would have been un otherwise unable to reach. Another scripted event. This one's kind of easy, though. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Yep. Torturers? Yep. Assassins? Also, yes. I I'll tell you anything. Here. Take my info bot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not as as... Hold on. Let's see what he's got. I love how manipulative he is. Has this ever happened to you? No. Hi, I'm Captain Quark. And believe me, there's nothing worse than stirring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? Ah. You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's Robo Shack in Metropolis <laughs> for all your robotic repairs. Al's Robo Shack, it's quartastic. Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Oh, oh. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Now that you have coordinates to two new planets. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now we have a ship, so now we can go places. And, conveniently enough, we have two different planets to go to. Now, what do you think? Let's get back 
that ship. First, you know, come on. Definitely need those. Take the elevator right on back up. And we're at our ship. Okay, guys. Well, we made some progress. We got some weapons. We've unlocked some planets. And we got a partner and a ship and all kinds of wonderful stuff. Next time, we'll be off to Metropolis on Kurwan. We'll see you soon.